Good morning guys. So I'm going to set up this. I'm going to do a video Nike React Vision versus the Adidas NMD R1 V2 and the winner for the Fate and Fearless socks. Here are the names. As you can see names 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 so there you go only one winner guys only one winner okay i'm going to call alpha pick one come on help me pick one winner for the just one alpha just one Come on, just one. One only one. Okay, the winner is... Alpha, give it to me. The winner is... Carlo... Carlo 20. Yay! Congrats, bro. Alpha, do you love your NMDs? Yes. You love running with it? Yes. We have the same shoes. Look, the same. Yay! Adidas NMD and that is also the Adidas NMD 360 for kids. So this is the Nike React Vision and the Adidas NMD R1 V2, the new design of the previous V1 model. And for the price of $130, actually you can get this below retail. I would say these two sneakers are different in a way how it looks and gives you enough comfort for all day use now this is boost it is lighter this boost midsole is lighter compared to this heavy duty nike react midsole i would say the react midsole gives more cushion and support for walking so this is much better for long walks compared to the flat but light. I would say it's flat. It doesn't give you enough cushion and support but it is lighter than the React midsole. And for comfort value, I would say the React midsole of the React Vision is much better compared to the boost midsole of the Adidas NMD R1. Normally, the Adidas NMD R1 is not like the Adidas Ultra Boost that gives you enough and better cushion and support. And they didn't actually made an improvement of the boost midsole of the Adidas NMD R1 V2. Hoping that they will make it much better for the V3 version for the v3 version so there you go in terms of overall look i would say that this nmd still has that simple minimal upper compared to this new nike react vision a lot of things going on in the design elements such as the holes and this kind of paneling you have here a tongue pull the heel pull the boost heel support design look alike and if you don't want something that pops and happy, just go with the Adidas NMD. And I love the Adidas NMD since it has this kind of new knit upper. It definitely hugs your foot. But if you want some something that looks like a running shoe fit, go with the Nike React Vision. So there you go. Overall, I prefer the Nike React Vision in terms of overall value for money. I would say I love the comfort of the Nike React 
in this model than the Adidas NMD R1 V2. So that is my comparison. But it's still up to you and up to your outfit. So before I end the video, if you still don't know what to choose, if it's the Adidas NMD R1 V2 or the Nike React Vision, I will tell you guys that these two sneakers are totally worth it for the price of $130. And if you are going to check it online, some sneaker stores are selling it below retail. And if I'm going to choose one, I will definitely choose the Nike React Vision because of that comfort, support, and overall look that is not that simple. Like I said in my previous video, the overall look is abstract. Not like this one. It's still, the NMD is still a great sneaker if you just want something that is not too expensive like the ultra boost or not like a running shoe look this is a good lifestyle boost sneaker but it's not as comfortable like wearing Yeezys and ultra boost so there you go guys thank you for watching see you in another video